and welcome back to Dentures vs. Food, where I try to teach you how to eat with or without your dentures. I have in front of me some leftover Halloween candy, and we gave a bunch of candy away. Kids came around two nights in a row, Saturday night and Sunday night, which we didn't plan for, but luckily I had bought enough candy to get through the two days. Um, we were expecting the kids to go trick-or-treating on Saturday night because they have to go to school on Monday, so we didn't expect anybody to be out on Sunday night, but <laughs> turns out we had just as many on Sunday night as we did on Saturday night, so we had a pretty good turnout. But today I want to show you how I manage to eat little bite-sized candies like this because I don't just put the whole thing in my mouth. My mouth is very small. I know it doesn't seem like it because when you hear me talk, you think, God, this guy's got a big mouth. My mouth is actually very small. Again, nothing in the bottom denture. Only denture fit in the top denture. So one of the things that uh, got, I got a little twix here and Candy bars that have a soft top and like a cookie on the bottom, I find it easier to turn it upside down so the cookie is on the top. Because that way, as I'm slightly pushing on the bottom denture, the teeth can sink in and, and give me more pushing pressure as I bite through the cookie part. Like so. And again, because these have caramel in them, they're a little bit sticky. So the smaller the bite you take, the better off you are. Little Milky Ways. I find these to be very sticky. And again, I'm not a big fan of Milky Way candy bars. But again, that's just like a size, a little bigger than a Jolly Rancher. But I still bite it in half. It's easier for me to keep in the center of my mouth and keep my cheek pulled up against the denture so that I don't get food down beside the denture on each side. And still, Sometimes a piece will get over on the side, and those, those are really sticky candy bars. Sometimes it'll get on the side, and instead of, instead of trying to get it out with your tongue and just pushing it further and further down, and it end up getting under the denture, just put your finger in there and just get underneath it and push it straight back up over the teeth. You're better off that way. And yes, people with natural teeth, just look around you in a restaurant. You'll see people with natural teeth going like this with their fingernails or digging in the back of their mouth with their fingernail. It's natural to do that kind of stuff. Just because we have dentures don't mean we can't do things that are natural to us. It's not embarrassing. Nobody's going to know you have dentures because you're cleaning your teeth. So, oh yeah, forgot to show that one. Little peanut butter Snickers. And I really like these. I always have. I like the full-size ones too, but again, biting it in half. These have a very thin layer of caramel at the top.
I'm killing my diet. But I assumed you guys were sick of watching me eat meat. <laughs> Regular Snickers. Now, you've seen me eat, I believe, you've seen me eat a full-size Snickers. I'm not sure. I'll have to look and, and see if I did that on video yet. I believe I did, though. But if not, I can do it. These, I turn upside down because all the caramel is on the top. And I like to keep the caramel low in my mouth. There's a couple reasons I do that. If the caramel is down low on the bottom teeth and it gets stuck to the teeth when I open my mouth to chew again, it stays on the bottom teeth. If it's flipped over and the caramel is on the top teeth and I open my mouth, it's stuck to the top teeth and I'm fighting with my tongue like a jackass trying to get it off my top teeth for some reason. It's a personal thing. It's really weird. I can have something stuck to my bottom teeth and just keep on chewing, but if something gets stuck stuck to the top teeth, I look like a dog trying to get peanut butter out of my mouth. I'm <laughs> we got these little whoppers here. And these are actually um, pretty crunchy, to be honest. Um, not a fan of whoppers, never really cared for them, but these are small enough you can just pop them in your mouth. And they crunch up pretty good. And I would do one on each side. And then uh, with practice, you can learn to bite them in half. I don't think I need to show you eating N&Ms. Um, Almond Joy, or Mounds, I mean. We didn't get any Almond Joy in this pack. Just Mounds in this pack of candy. And these are pretty easy. You know, it's just coconut. But again, it can be sticky, so take smaller bites. I've come to notice over the years even though I take really tiny bites I eat just as fast as everybody else that I know because a smaller bite I can move around faster chew up faster and swallow faster or if you got your cheeks stuffed full of stuff, you're trying to control what's in your cheek, plus chew, plus swallow, plus pull more out of your cheek and chew and swallow. And makes it much more difficult. We also got some of these little Twizzlers in the, in the pack. Now these are... Uh, these are pretty good. I'm not a big fan of red licorice. I like black licorice personally. And I know there's a huge debate out there about black licorice. Either you like it or you don't. It's one of those things where there's no in between. I've never heard anybody say, eh, I could take it or leave it. No, it's either I love black licorice or I hate black licorice. They're kind of a love-hate relationship with red licorice. But with this, you could stick that whole thing in your mouth 
and fight with chewing it up and hope it doesn't stick to your dentures too bad and end up lifting your bottom denture and getting food under it and everything else. Or you can just take a small bite off of it. And you see, it stuck to the bottom teeth right there when I went to lift it off the teeth. It tried to lift up my denture. But I kept my lip pressed against my denture so it couldn't lift. Something else you got to remember. When your molars come together like this, because that's the way they're designed, kind of like knuckles, when they come together like this, if there's something in between your molars here and the other teeth are smashed all the way into it, that's what causes them to suction together and causes that bottom denture to lift when you're trying to lift your upper denture. You don't have to chew down so hard that your teeth touch. You only have to chew down enough to break up the food. That clicking noise you hear when somebody's eating and they have dentures, it's because they're doing this. They're going. They're chewing down so hard that the teeth are touching on the other side where there's no food. You don't have to do that. You only have to chew down hard enough to break up the food. Now sometimes that clicking noise can be because somebody's denture is rocking. And if that's happening, your, your upper or your lower denture is rocking, you need denture fit. That's what I use in my upper denture. Soft silicone reline that you do at home yourself. Link is in the description. First little blue line right under this video. It'll make your denture fit correctly. Alright, that's it for today my friends. I think uh, I showed you everything except the N&M's, and to be honest, they're pretty easy to eat, like eating a peanut. If you're in your immediate dentures, three months or less, I wouldn't even attempt most of this. If you're over three months and you have a soft green line from the doctor, go for it. The only way you're going to learn is to practice. And if you're in your permanent dentures, go for it. All you can do is learn. Piece of licorice. It's amazing. I can feel it with my tongue, but I can't get it with my finger. Oh. It's behind the molar. <laughs> behind the last molar. It was stuck to the plastic behind the last molar. All right, that's it for today. I will see you in my next video.